Oh, finally. I was beginning to think you'd stood me up. Please tell me it's not true. Swear it. On her memory. Swear what? Why do you have Charlotte's photo? Verity said you faked everything. Tony's brain surgery, his tumour, just so you could split us up and and groom me to to look like her. Please, Edward, tell me she's lying. But well, she's lying. Verity and I had a falling out. You see, uh, I had a rather important question to ask you. Oh, yeah. I know all about your proposal. And I am not giving you an answer until you can prove that you're not the man Verity says you are. And tell me these are just blood thinners. But of course they are. I mean, surely you don't believe this nonsense. This is just the work of an, an insecure, jealous little girl. Nothing more. Well, there's only one way to find out. I'll take some myself, shall I? Dan, don't do anything stupid. I mean, you know, I'll do it. I love you. OK, but I want you to love me for me. Not so you can turn me into some posh tall. Don't talk about my wife like that! <sighs> I've been so blind. All this time. I thought you were helping Tony fight his illness when... when the only thing wrong with him was you. How could you take the kindest man in the world and... I'm filling with such haze and anger. I swapped his blood thinners for testosterone. You know, Orphan was right. He said you were dangerous and I didn't listen. You were my rock. When Harry died, while Breezy was torturing Tony in that pig farm, and, and this was all lies. No! Why do you think I went to such extraordinary lengths to save you from a life of mediocrity with Tony? <sighs> so we could be together as man and wife. I would rather die than marry you. How dare you? Everything I did, I did to realise your potential. And this is how you repay me? I'm going to go and tell Tony everything. And then we're going to go to the police together. And your job, your reputation and your freedom will all go up in flames. Please, just wake up. I, I am so sorry. It's all Edwards. But you don't believe the things that he's done. You know, he's had us fooled all this time, and he didn't even love me. On the contrary. If anything, I love you too much. She's going to be okay. I've got to see her. Diane's in no fit state to see anyone. She sustained a serious head injury. I've had to put her in a medically induced coma. No. What did the police say? I mean, someone must have seen who did this. Well, it's obvious who did this. It's not uncommon for patients with personality change to suffer spikes of aggression. I thought Tony was over the worst, but the bucket of alcohol you drank probably didn't help. No, you got it wrong. This wasn't me. No, I should never have proposed to Diane. It's pushed you over the edge, and, and now the woman I love is lying in a coma. No. No, you're wrong. Darren, tell him. Tell him I had nothing to do with this. Well, look, Tony's not saying it's your fault. It's that you, di you didn't know what you were doing, right? Tony? You did it. You actually hurt Diane. That's one line I never thought you'd cross. I did nothing of the sort. Tony attacked Diane in a drunken rage. You see, Diane agreed to marry me, despite your interference. And of course, she insisted on doing the decent thing and telling Tony first. I wish 
She'd listen to me. No, more lies. How far are you prepared to take this? You're going to keep Diane in a coma forever. You know, it saddens me the negative influence that your brother's had on you. I never dreamt I'd be betrayed by my own daughter. I had no choice, Dad, please. This obsession has got to stop. If you turn yourself in, maybe the judge will go easy on you. I'm confessing to nothing. And neither are you. Well, you'll hurt me too. I won't have to. Not when I can expose you as a fraud. What? All those exams you passed. Your first client. Did you seriously believe that you could achieve all that on your own? The headmaster owed me a favor. The client was a bribe from the bank of Dad. Should any of that come to light, you will never practice law again. Good job you inherited your mother's good looks, because you didn't get any of my brains. I gave you everything, and I can take it all away again. And run along, little girl. Some people believe that comatose patients can hear every word that's said to them. I hope that's true. I want you to know how sorry I am. This isn't at all what I'd intended. Sleep, my love. And don't worry about Tony. He won't be bothering us anymore. Tony Hutchinson, I'm arresting you on suspicion of assault. You just focus on your future. As Mrs. Edward Hutchinson. Till death us do part. Look, I'm innocent. Why won't anyone believe me? 